last video, we learned all about flex basis, flex grow, and flex shrink, and how all of that works. Um, and in this video, I want to take it a little bit further uh, and see how it works when you've maybe changed the direction of your axes or if you have items that wrap, which is more likely. So um, I just got the flex wrapping in columns one open here. Again, we're just right back with our six little uh, emoji friends here that we're going to be working with. So uh, I've got display flex on our flex container and then on each of our items like dot box, I'll grab them all. I'm just going to set a flex basis of um, 500 px and give it a save and you'll see what happens is that since I gave it 500 px and this is that would be 500 plus 500 plus 500 plus 500 they're all clearly not 500 pixels wide they're 233 pixels wide and and how come well that's because um, what is kicking in right now I, I should ask you what's kicking in is the flex grow kicking in is or is the flex shrink kicking in because do we have if I don't have after we have give the 500 pixels to each of them, we actually don't have enough room for all of these six. That'd be 3,000 pixels wide. And what is our browser at right now? We're at about 1,400 pixels wide. So uh, we just don't have enough room for it. And when you the de when you kick on flex shrink, the default is one, which means each item gets enough space. However, we can go back to our container and turn on flex wrap. And just say wrap, give it a save and a refresh. And you can see, okay, that's interesting. Now uh, the items are now getting there, if you inspect one, 500 pixel flex basis on. And now we've got this extra space to the right. So you tell me, how do we deal with extra space? Well, that's called flex grow. Give it a save. And now each of them are going to be. Uh, evenly distributed between the two. Now, where this becomes kind of interesting is if I select like box three, for example, and I change the flex grow to something ridiculous like 10 and refresh, look what happens. Now, previously we've only been really working with one row. And now since we have flex wrap turned on, flex grow, shrink, and basis, all of those work only on the row that they are on so that they don't have any effect on the item before or after, which is fantastic because we don't have any sort of, um, if I look at the index here, we don't have any sort of weird HTML wrapping going on here. It's all just kind of working out for us. Now what I want to do is change the axis. There's been a couple of videos since I've really nailed down an axis. So by default, the axis in Flexbox, the default one is left to right, is the main axis goes from left to right, and the cross axis is from top to bottom. So by default, the flex direction is what? It's row, so if I just put on row, it does nothing. But if I change that from row to column, what happens, a refresh, whoa, what's going on here? Interesting what just happened. Let's let's kind of take peel this back a bit. If I take this, flex basis off. Let me just take kind of everything off here and refresh. All right. So what's going on here? The items are stacking themselves vertically because we've changed the axes and the main axis used to be left to right. Now it's from top to bottom. So our elements are going from top to bottom. And now if I put a flex grow of one on one of them and a flex grow of 10, Let's maybe not do 10. Let's do five on the on the third one and refresh. You'll, you'll notice that nothing happens. And that's because, um, again, there is no height on this container. So if I were to put a border 10 PX solid golden rod, let's get a new color out, make keep it fun. So see this golden rod border here. This is where it ends at the bottom here. So in order for it to fill the available space, there is really no extra space and it's really not hurting it vertically um, because there's there's extra space here. So what we actually need to do again is put like a min height on that and give it a save. And there we go. Interesting what happens here is that if I resize vertically, you'll see that 
at this point right here, there is extra space. And because box three has a flux grow of five, it's going to get five times the amount of extra space that this one has in there. Um, now, what happens if previously when we were working with the left to right in, we ran out of space horizontally, it would wrap onto the next line. So what happens if we give each of our items a flex basis of let's say 250 px. So each of them ideally will be 250 px. Refresh. Now you'll see that um, they just go all vertically, right? That's each of them get their 250 pixels, 250, and they'll go. There's no extra space. There's no too, there's not too much space, and that's just because since we're working vertically now, we've got all the space that we want. Browser scroll by default top to bottom. So the way we could fix that is we could just put a hard height on it instead of a min height. And whoa, look what happened here. Uh, let's just kind of go through what's going on here is we've got our 250 pixels for each one. However, since box three has a flex grow of five, it divvied up the 250, the 250, the 250, and then there was a little bit left on the bottom here and it gave three five times as much as the rest. And then this is where the really interesting part comes in is that instead of uh, when we had them in rows where it would, when it would wrap around underneath, it will just wrap around to the side. So you can go ahead and give different flex basis to all of the different ones that we would want. Let's bring that down here. Uh, flex basis. 100 px and you'll notice that oh since now that one's 100 px it actually can fit inside of there and it sneaks it down on there in five and six why are they so big well because we really only had two extra ones that we went on here and by default it's going to stretch them across evenly uh, on the available space so that's the way it works like that um, if i See what happens when we run out of space vertically here. Uh, once we hit that 250, 250, 250 plus 100, once we hit that limit vertically, there's no space for it, but it does know that it can put it right up here. So it's going to wrap it around to uh, the next column. And, and you can really go, let's see if we uh, just duplicate this a couple times, you can go as far as you want and uh, make some pretty cool uh, different layouts there when you're really just working on your vertical axis. At a certain point, they're all just gonna, uh, they're all gonna come onto one column and you'll have a horizontal scroll.